This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. This story started on November the 18th, 2021. At 7pm, a 13-year-old boy was shot in Hockley and he was shot in the back and he was disabled. It has now been confirmed. Initially, it was speculation, but it's now been confirmed that he was left disabled after this shooting. And police said at the time that a black SUV vehicle was seen and three occupants got out and the boy was shot. I covered the original story a year ago and now a year later, three people have been convicted for the attempted murder of the 13-year-old and more details are now able to be discussed. The Birmingham police and also the local media has spoken about the fact that they're connected to a gang called AR, which is Arm Response, which is an offshoot of the Burger Bar Boys. One of the three that have been found guilty is Zidane Edwards. He's known as Cordy 18 and he's a rapper from Birmingham who's had a lot of views online and social media from his music. So I like two two G's, bang, I got the blicky on me. Blickety, 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 blick. Shut up, boy, man, let that be. Glee, 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 glee. Sweet, 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 sweet. Sweet, so I like two two G's. Himself along with Diego Anderson, both now aged 20, and a 17-year-old who cannot be named for legal reasons, were all convicted of attempted murder on the 2nd of August after a six-week trial at Birmingham Crown Court. The 17-year-old was also convicted of possession of a prohibited weapon. They will be sentenced on the 7th of October 2022. The shooting happened in November last year at Hockley Circus, Birmingham. The victim and his friends were in the city and they were on their way to get food when they were attacked. Despite his injuries, the boy managed to call the police. The firearms officers arrived at the scene and gave life-saving first aid before the paramedics arrived. The police investigation involved them gathering CCTV and it showed a car on the A41 before stopping abruptly at the service road. Edwards, Anderson and the 17-year-old all got out. The 13-year-old and his friends were chased into the underpass and a homemade shotgun known as a slam gun was fired and it hit him in the back and left him paralysed. The footage showed Edwards, Anderson and the 17-year-old running from the scene and also driving off. Police later tracked down the vehicle and recovered it and further examination were able to link them to the car. The police said in a statement after they arrested them that was able to gather clothing that was used in the shooting on the day and several phones that helped to build the case. Officers recovered a handgun and also a slam gun from an address that was linked to the 17 year old and further examination was able to prove it was the weapon that was used in the incident. Detective Inspector Michelle Cordell from the 4 CID said this unprovoked and callous attack by Zidane Edwards, Diego Anderson and the 17 year old changed the life of this 13 year old and his family forever. The impact of the actions are heartbreaking and my thoughts remain with the boy, his family and also friends. From the outset, the police said that they worked tirelessly to try to solve the case and worked with their partners to gather evidence and the collective work and dedication helped to lead to the conviction. So they haven't been sentenced yet, but I definitely will update it on that. But in relation to Cordy 18, being a rapper from Birmingham, he's released a lot of music and he's also even referenced the channel in some of his music as well. In one song with somebody called Insane 18, who went on to be arrested for a firearm. I covered the story of the arrest and the charge of the firearm, but they referenced that story in the video. And this first story comes from Birmingham. The other men in a Volkswagen Polo connected to the incident made off from officers when sighted. They were spotted on Harmer Street and the three occupants were arrested. The old. This is definitely a reminder to the youngers to be very careful. To be very careful. To be very careful. In relation to his music as well, Cordy 18 was a new generation rapper and he was very blunt and very straightforward with his music. He made songs such as Gunman as well, which was very hard to justify in relation to it being just music as well due to the lyrics that he'd use and the references that he'd make. I am a gunman, I am a gunman, I am a gunman. I am a gunman, I am a gunman, I am a gunman. I am a gunman, I am a gunman, I am a gunman. Cordy has been rapping since at least 16 years old and he's probably been involved on the street for a lot longer. And he did do an interview with Big Ego Entertainment but I believe that was taken down during the trial so as not to affect it and that is the main reason why we haven't been able to speak about his case up until now. A lot of people were made aware of Birmingham gang culture from the New Year's Eve murders of Letitia Shakespeare and Charlene Ellis. 
who are the collateral damage of a drive-by shooting with a Mac-10 submachine gun outside a hair salon. But even before then and following it, there's always been a culture in the city. In 2017, the police took out injunctions to actually ban certain people from associating with each other and even having phones and also vehicles that the police were not aware of. This was in connection to the Burger Bar Boys and the Johnson crew. And these gang injunctions stopped people from entering certain parts of the city and it was one of the first times that it was ever used. Some people were even stopped from appearing in music videos and these were shown in the court proceedings. And another big case as well in relation to armed response was Riel Phillips. He was 21 years old when he was jailed for 27 years and they believed that he was responsible for seven shootings in Birmingham for, in a feud that had gone on at the time. Rial's sentence was actually reduced, I believe, by 10 years after he appealed it as well. So thankfully, this young boy didn't die, but the consequences of their actions, these three young men will have to suffer for the rest of their life. And I really appreciate you joining me today and following this story for as long as it's taken. And please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and follow on social media at Scar City Studios on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Captain. Ah. Let me show you about the life I live with shoulders. Everyone know, look and see if you violate him or bloss or bop. And you ask everyone to prom if you ain't robbed or shacked up pricks. Everyone. Rule like shotgun, use or abuse or cops get pressured by him.